Hey, how's it going? I'm Nate, an Apple enthusiast and Mac hardware technician. Today we're going to see how we can get rid of the iTunes logo if it's stuck on your iPad. This sometimes happens because of a corrupt operating system or something funky going on with the unit. I would hope that you have a backup before we try a few of these things because your data might not be there. The first thing we want to try is doing a hard reset on the device. The way we go about that is by clicking the two physical buttons on the iPad. The first one being the sleep wake button and the second one being the home button. We want to hold these two buttons together for about 10 or 15 seconds and we should see a black screen and then your iPad load up. If you're still having the problem, the next step we want to do is a restore. How we do that is plug in your device to the computer and ideally iTunes should automatically launch. If it doesn't, go ahead and click on the application. Once the application comes up, you might see that it says the iPad is in recovery mode. What that means is you only really have one option, which is restoring the unit. There's no chance to back up or sync anything to the device. Go ahead and click where it says restore iPad and understand it might take about five to 10 minutes. If the issue still persists, we'd recommend you go to an Apple service provider for a possible hardware fix. This has been how to fix getting rid of the iTunes logo off of your iPad. Thanks for listening guys and we'll see you soon.